Hey everyone, it's Selena here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome back to A Daily Deal. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. This is the first time, and geez, I think in a year since I did um, a vintage, totally vintage, um, Victorian type uh, travel junk journal kit. Now this kit is while supplies last today. It is uh, 120 or more pieces. Some some packs I added more here and there just to make it complete. I like to make the pack look so presentable, so I just kind of add a few things here and there. But this this has pretty much everything you can think of when it comes to a starter kit or just to replenish your um, your your junk journal supplies from stamps to postcards to vintage playing papers to I have a, a lot of 1800s vintage receipts that you get in each pack. I do know when you purchase um, a lot of vintage 1800s receipts online, they become between like five or ten dollars just one of these. Now this kit is only thirty-four dollars. Like like I like always, guys, I always make sure it's so affordable and it's just at the right uh, budget spot um, for me. I'm able to make these in mass quantities, um, and it's easy for me because I get a bunch of this stuff and it's for you guys to get a great deal. So I want to dig right in. I got my little cheat sheet here to tell you everything we have. I have from things that are used to unused, but it's pretty much, I would say 99% vintage. The first thing you're going to get, as you can see here, is um, 10 vintage stamps. When my mom and I, we both did this kit together. Uh, when we put this kit together, um, she had made sure that um, she picked out the cutest um, stamps you can think of. These are been issued stamps. They've been stamped on. Some stamps uh, never been used. Um, never looked them up. Maybe you guys might find uh, something worth some kind of value. Who knows? I just didn't have time to be researching everything. But uh, a variety. So she made sure there's reds, blues, greens, yellows to make sure there's a great color palette when it comes to the vintage stamps. So you're going to get amazing uh, 10 stamps. Um, I think two or three are on the paper card kind of thing. Got it. This is from cutting. Cutting fabrics, guys. This is what happens when I'm cutting all those fabrics. For those who don't know, down below is my Etsy shop link. I do a lot of stocking of vintage fabrics and fabric packs, and that is my battle wound. It's like just at the head of this pair of scissors, it just gets me I'm trying to let it air out. Anyways, so um, some of them are on the card. Just like I think three of them. The rest are loose, um, so it's just beautiful. She had put them in like one of those vellum um, envelopes. They're all vintage, so some of them are pretty much plain, and some might have like a little cool little vintage writing on it. Um, I just left it as vintage as I can do it, scrappy vintage style kind of thing. So you'll be getting that. You'll be getting um, also seven vintage uh, tickets. So it looks like here most of them are British bus tickets. Better get in sink here and then of course here is the uh, these tickets here so those are the tickets um, you'll be getting uh, 11 vintage receipts so I told you guys you're gonna get an amazing receipt pile here one of them is gonna be uh, plain most kits got that every kit got two of these vintage which is gorgeous I think one or two I'm not sure uh, these are 1800s uh, tax receipts. I did look them up. This is the one thing I did look up. And most places were selling these ones here for $10 a piece. So great deal. I know I could probably throw them in the shop and get that, but why? I, it saves me a lot of time. Just throw these in the packs for you guys, um, and they're there for you. Here's this cool. So now when it comes to other vintage receipts, you have the exact amount but not all are identical. So, but I do grab from piles for receipts. Now that the other ones, those uh, other receipts, you'll be getting exactly that. I'll show you some here are not used, and I left the backing here. Use. This is the time of day where I'm sure I'm going to get a ton of messages. So uh, bear with me with all the dinging <laughs> and the noises you're going to hear. So here's the front and back. So it's nice to have these for your, your junk journals because you can put your own things. And then here's these kind of receipts. But they're just so cool. They just, they looked cool. I loved it. Looks really cool. All right. And then I do know you get five vintage 1800s postcards. I made sure that they're like early or late 1800s or probably like the early 1900s. I, some of them are blank. Some are not. To give you an idea of the fronts. As you can see, I kept it like the Victorian style. Buildings and cars. My mom and I made sure that we did buildings, people, 
I think bridges um, and bodies of water was one of them and then monuments. So you'll get all those kind of themes in your pack, which is cool, right? I'm going to show you the box. Some have the really cool stamps. Some are blank. Some still have the plastic sheave on it, but I just kept it that way. Cool, huh? I think so. For five, usually postcards today go for a buck a piece. So there you go. Just between this and just the receipts, I mean, it's a great savings as it is. Now, on to the first time, uh, first uh, day stamped issue uh, envelopes. Now, these are first, if those who don't know, those who are stamp collectors, um, when, a, when a stamp is issued, you usually, um, I don't know if they still do it today, you go to the post office, you buy that stamp that was issued that day, you got the envelope, and they stamp it, and then they, when they stamp it down, they stamp the date it was issued. All these are uh, empty. All these are empty envelopes for those who don't know what these are. Empty envelopes. Look at this one. This one's a side envelope. Isn't that cool? Um, and that's pretty much it. We did a variety of things. We made sure we had water, travel. Look at this one. Oopsie. I'm dumping, dumping some here. But they're all unique. I made sure we had a variety. I'll kind of run through here because I don't want this to be a crazy long. So you'd be getting uh, 10 of those. So there you go. That's that's another great savings as it is. And just like I said, it stocks your, your supply. Or if you're new at this, at least it's a great kit. Or it's a great gift for those, you know, who are just getting into um, junk journaling and scrapbooking. It's perfect, I think. Um, then you'll be getting two vintage cards unused. That's these here. I have my list of remembrance. Some will have envelopes, some will not. If they have an envelope, I put it on the back. These are unused, and I wanted to make them, you know, make sure that in each pack that they do have a vintage look, you know, like they are actual vintage. And uh, this one's blank here, you can see. I made sure that they're blank, and the envelopes will look really crazy vintage as well. And this one's Christmas, so I wish I put two in there. I didn't have a whole lot of those, so that's why I did it. Now, vintage typewriter papers. Oh, these are so cool. Now, you'll be getting, what does it say here? Five. These are ranging from the 1960s to the 1970s. Look, at you can see my hand right underneath. Um, it's just really cool. I'm not sure what all it says. <laughs> Love that sound. Um, and then these here. And that cool? Because they're large, perfect for putting into your junk journals. Awesome pack. And $33. You still guys are already uh, doing good so far, right? <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, what else do we have? So you get 11 uh, vintage stamped envelopes. Where are they at? Aha. Uh -huh. So then not only did you get the first time a uh, date of issue stamped envelopes, I'm also including, um, how many did I say? 11. 11 um, vintage envelopes. So these vintage envelopes will have like the vintage stamp on each one. Um, and that's a cool one in it. It's a really cool one. Um, and it's stamped and pretty. I made sure that each one was truly vintage. Uh, when I mean vintage, obviously the 80s and earlier. Isn't that beautiful? And they're empty. This one's got a really cool liner. Look at that liner. It's got little airplanes everywhere. And uh, I just dug these out from boxes and boxes of stuff I have. Look at that one. So you get 11 of those. They'll be in there. Look at this one. Look at the front of oh, this. This is a postcard. I imagine you could probably take those stamps off or just leave it as an insert of some sort. So you get 11 of those. And then you get the seven vintage game playing uh, ephemera kind of thing. Old bingo cards, thin ones, not thick ones. Um, pads, uh, like game pad papers. I'm not sure which one's which. Score pads, bridge. And this is a really cool, that old vintage card. It's kind of large, but I just, it was, they're so retro. It was so cool. I had to throw them in there. And then you get a, each kit will get a Victorian girl um, and lady, which are really cool. I thought they were beautiful. Um, so I had to throw them in there. And then looks like here, time cards. Looks like we're on to time cards. So you'll get two. I also have these in the shop as well. You'll get two of the large uh, time cards. You can see here. They fold and open up. 
uh, like a little booklet, you get two of the large ones. Oh, that goes on the vintage stamps. So in the vintage stamps, you also will get a large um, first day of issue stamped um, stamp bonus as well. All right, and then you'll get two index cards. This is yellow. I don't know if you can see it, like a canary yellow. You'll get like the one that is a file like divider and one that is um, just a pretty rather large manila you know, envelope. And then you will be getting 10 unused vintage papers, such as wrap papers, column papers, and things like that. The very first one I know is crazy large. Look at this. You can cut that and make that into two. Look at that beautiful aged look. So different ones here, like different. I think this is a graph. And this one here is like a log of some sort. It was really cool. I wish I knew the name. I have a book over there. But I just thought it looked really cool. Um, this one here is cotton paper. And this one here is a vintage. Looks like, oh, you get two. I miscounted. It looks like you're getting more of these. You'll get two of these. We did like an assembly line, so it kind of got stuck. And I see a bell on there. Imagine it's like a phone company type thing. Um, you get two of those, and the box looks like that. Some more of this paper, different colors, and this one's a, a really old one. Let me show you. You can smell the old paper. Look at this one. You get two of these. Isn't it awesome? You get a lot of stuff that is unique. It is vintage to work with. Music paper, it looks like here. It says you get six different kinds. I, I have uh, Victorian paper in here too. Make sure there's uh, some with the writing at the top. Victorian paper is in here. The music is in here as well. I'm not sure which sheets are, but I really, my goal was to try to get you different types of notes, themes, and styles um, to look at unique. These are two. They're really big from a, a Victorian book, so I put it in half um, so you don't feel so bad <laughs> making them into like snippets you know, or a page, a part of a page, you know, I did it for you. And then this one here, I left one completely whole. I imagine you can just rip it and then go for it. Um, Cause I imagine there's not a book that size that you guys make. This is really cool. This here is the, I don't know if I can say it right. This typewriter paper is so expensive. Um, I did, another thing I looked up, cause I was going to put this in the shop and I thought, well, you know, I'll just put two or three pages in each kit. But it's, I think it's, it says Anina, I don't know how to say it. Anyways, it is a, a very, I guess it's a collector, it's a unique typewriter paper. You can see the watermark in there. Um, so I made sure each one had three in each, and then some more cotton paper as well. And then I put in there these two or three, three, three of these crazy large maps. So that brings in the travel part. But wait till you guys stay, stay here because wait till you see the Victorian pages coming up. They are just beautiful. Before I get to the Victorian pages, amazing pages, by the way, doilies. The doilies here, you get, um, how many do I have in here? It says here you get, Lord have mercy, where did my go here? Looks like six. And I made sure, if I can show you. I made sure that they all were all different size for the paper doilies. You can see here, they kind of all mesh. Beautiful, aren't they? What you see here is exactly what each kit is getting. I had so many. First I thought, oh, I'm gonna coffee dye them. And I'm like, uh, time, Selena. How much time do you actually have? <laughs> I don't. Each kit's gonna get a playing card that is a nautical type of playing card. Um, and I put on there uh, this vintage embroidery type floss. It's like an ivory color and each kit has a, a needle, a large needle to where you can tie in your signatures. Cool, right? Can't beat that. Um, Victorian pages. There are eight Victorian pages that are just to die for. Um, geez, I made sure that they had beautiful pictures of not only lace, of women. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? I got these from um, like 1800 books, 18 year, like the, the year 1800s, like an art book. Um, this one here, I don't remember which age this book is, but I just love the fact you can probably cut them out um, or just flip the page if you're doing a page thing. You got like a house and 
the woman, women, look at like you do that one in half, you got like a blank, um, yeah. And I know that uh, most of them also has pages of like vintage receipts, and that cool? Buildings, people, again, I made sure I did it to where um, if you did fold it in half, you're guaranteed a picture on each page. This is my favorite. I made sure each kit has a very old villum. came from an art book page. Isn't that gorgeous? I, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and uh, I, I'm going to make sure that each kit has a cardstock um, backing so this doesn't get messed up. But I put it on top of an old Victorian page to show you the color of it. It's just so beautiful. But look at this page. Isn't that gorgeous? Again, you could just put it in a book and you have either side. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So that goes in this one. And then I had made sure that I got these old flight um, altitude type maps, booklets, and um, I thought about adding them to the shop because I have so many pages of them. And I know that this kit will have six. And I made sure that each kit had a map of the, um, the areas of where they're they're marking for the flight itinerary. So it's like for a, a person who is flying. It looks like it's military as well. Maybe before I rip these up, maybe I should have looked up even more information on them, but I didn't. I just said, well, my, my ladies deserve to have nice things in their kits. So they're just different. I just totally, there's more in there. And they're just beautiful, different, unique. Okay. Now, I was given an example because I used to coffee dye a bunch of envelopes, which is rather simple. Spritz it with coffee. Bam, you got it. So you're not getting coffee dyed envelopes. This is an example to show you what you can do with them or keep them plain. But I did add, um, this is all these envelopes here. It's like 10 different envelopes. You'll be getting different colors and shapes of regular vintage envelopes, different sizes, little bitty guys to a little bit bigger. And then I have these two little coin vanilla type envelopes that will go in there. And then each kit will have some um, tags that you can mess with um, as well. A little bitty bag, which you can use. You've seen it before. And then a larger manila envelope. I've seen where you guys make journals with them. You know, just the liner kind of thing. So I put one of them in there. And you will be getting a large huge envelope which all this stuff will go inside of it um, to make it really cute and then some really cool hardware that you can try to mess with these here are like those folder hardware I've never used before where you take the hole punch I think you can see it here punch two holes put the prongs right through it put this guy right through it and you got paper hanging from whatever your paper is I thought I've never seen anyone do it but I thought maybe somebody will figure something out all right, guys, I hope you guys love that kit. Down below is the direct link to grab this kit if you like it. I'm sure I'm missing something I added in this kit, but it's exact. It's just huge. It's just, I think it's, obviously, it's going to probably be weigh a little more than a pound. I'm hoping it's under a pound, <laughs> so then the shipping weight would be different. But just don't forget, if you spend $35 or more in the shop, um, you get free shipping. So these kits are only $34. So if you put something small in your cart, I'm paying your shipping. So... Just a little snippet of information there that could save you actually more money. Um, maybe I shouldn't tell you, <laughs> but it is helpful, just the thought. Um, and uh, grab your kit, guys, while you can. Again, it is also fun to put these kits and stuff like this together for you guys. Um, it's time-consuming, but it, it is truly a fun project. All right, guys, until next time, bye.